Hello everybody, greetings and welcome to a new game. Now, Humankind is a game that I'm eagerly awaiting. A new civilization-like turn-based historical game with some new approaches to the genre as well. And we can finally try out the first scenario of this game, Towers of Babylon. So let me tell you the story of this glorious city, how it began, how it expanded, how it thrived. Long ago, Babylon was little more than a dusty square and a smattering of market stalls. But its people had big dreams. Grow Babylon, explore its environs and sell new lands, expand and fortify the city. The fate of Babylon is in your hands. And in this case here we do have one objective and that is raise a great city of many souls. And here we are now in the game itself, so we do see that it's quite similar to Civilization and other games like that. But I think the environment is way more detailed. So we have also lots of elevation, vertical um, levels. And over here, as we can see, also our units here now. So that is one of my regiments. And in that case here, the regiment is consisting of two scouts. So I could just take one scout and get it over there. Like that, so I can split up my army. And for example, find some animal remains over here. So as we can see, scouting is quite similar to other games like that. Here we have something else, for example, and this army here, which is consisting now of only one scout, we can well continue. And I think this one here we go to the north, and with this one here we go to the east. Just for now. And as we can see, more things are popping up here. Here we have Babylon now, our main capital our city so far the first city that we have and as we can see we have lots of stats here like stability food industry money and science so we do need to push those stats there also here around the city we can see these symbols like the food the industry money and science and how far we have advanced on these now what we can do first is well advance a few more tax here that we have. So tanning racks, for example, would be something that gives us a bit more money per number of territories that are involved. And it's only taking two turns. So that would be a nice start. The millstone gives me more food. Food turns into growth. So we can then grow the city more. At the moment, we have only one population in the city. So going with more um, food is probably the best option. So let's go with the millstone, right? It's being now constructed and takes two turns. The other thing that we still need to go for is technology. And we can start with those four tags here that we have. So the calendar, domestication, carpentry, and city defense. And well, each one of these has some bonuses. So the calendar, for example, is our um, science bonus. So with that, we would get the research quarter. Also the comments quarter for more influence. Domestication allows us the horses. The carpentry allows us archers. The lumber yard and the forest and the defense allows us the palisades and the warriors. Now I think we're going with the calendar first since I want to push my um, research there more. And as we can see this is now in progress. That's basically it for this turn here so we can end the turn. Oh, I see my scout here still has some action points left. So we can continue in advance towards the outer regions here of my town. Also this one here I think, nope this one's ending, very good. This is the first turn and what I can see right now is that when I end my turn like I can start immediately with the next turn I don't even have to wait at all for something to happen so in that case here Babylon is well still constructing the millstone for another turn now and our scouts let's get them over here to this area whatever it is animal remains gives me a bonus of plus five science so this pushes my science um achievements there let's continue with my scouts over there beautiful map really beautiful and over here, we do have my other scouts. There is Mercury, a potent metal that we don't right. can explore it right now. So let's continue to the east. And as we can see, lots of territory that we could settle on. Let's end the next turn. So in this scenario, we have 27 turns left before it ends. And we need to reach our goal then, I guess, until then. Or we need to survive that long, at least. Um, one other thing that we can do is we can, of course, also settle on new t uh, cities there. So our scouts can do that in this, uh, in this case. So we don't have settlers, like in Civilization, for example. But we have our scouts, and they can um, create outposts. And these outposts, we could then turn into cities if we want to. 
Now we do have some certain tiles here that are interesting. For example, we do have the sanctuary here. This is very good for food, vision, and gives me plus one food. Here we would have copper. So having a city here would actually make sense because we have lots of strategic resources there. We have salt here. So let's actually go over here again to this tile here, to this forest tile there. It's a bit, yeah, it's a bit enclosed here, right? Perhaps over there we could have another... Come over here. Doing it like that. We still have action points left. So having a settlement, claim the territory, and then as we can see, we can now select the station for the outpost here or where we want to have it. Um, and yeah, over here it makes sense. It makes sense also on this tile there. So let's just have our settlement here. Right, so there we have an outpost. Now, outpost is nothing more than that. It's an outpost, it's territory that we claimed. And as we can see, also here our borders are growing with that because we have now gotten this territory here as well with that there we have another territory we can do the same thing with my other scout then here but it is costing so claiming this one here would cost me 50 coin that is something i cannot do right now so we're just going to continue exploring a bit well we still have some action points left that is fine i think we can end the turn now there we have another bonus here. Prairie gives me some food. And in my Babylon city, we have finished the construction of the millstone. So let's continue with the next production, which, yeah, tanning racks gives me more, num more money per territories. Very useful. So we do have a few territories now, and this will give me a nice boost of money then. And we've actually finished it already and doubled our income with that. Beautiful. Science is still going on. Um, the next construction is probably then... Let's have another scout. So I also want to go to the west. We haven't discovered that yet. Well, I can continue now with my scouts. So I can leave the outpost now. We continue. The outpost I can leave alone now. And as we can see, it takes now another turn here for this outpost to be established. And then we could make it into a city with gold. We have another point of interest. And we can also yeah. reach this point of interest now. Carcass, 10 gold coins. Very important. So I love the gold coins early on. Very important for my advancement. And with that, we can already turn to the next one. Turn 5 we are now. Babylon, let's have a look. We have finished the scout. So we can now send the scout to the west. And in Babylon itself, we can continue with some construction. So let's have a look. We have food that is important for the growth. Um, let's actually go with food then. Farmer quarters. I can click on that. And now I have to choose a tile for it. It's like a specialization. Um, so it's a district that we can place here. And as we can see, for example, here we do have um, plus 7 food bonus on this one here. It's a farm tile. So it makes sense to have it here. If I would place it here, for example, on this industry tile, that would make sense. Because I would lose the... Um, production bonus that we have on that tile so i'm going to place it on the farm tile and there we have it as we can see it's been constructed now very detailed looking amazing and it takes now five turns for this one here to finish and while we continue with construction in babylon we can continue also with scouting let's have a look over here far away from my town now down here there's still something to explore i think these are the edges this is the edge of the the world now that we have here Let's go. Perhaps on this tile there, I think there is some ocean here. And on this tile here, my scouts, meanwhile, have discovered a new territory. There we also have now um, animals. So, in this case, reindeers or stags. And I think we have them close to my city as well. But we could fight them, though not with one scout. I can attack them. And if I attack them, we can see that um, my side is weaker overall. I could confirm the battle now and start it, or I could retreat. Retreating is much more useful. In this case, if I have archers, for example, it would make sense then. And there we also have mammoths. I will certainly not attack them now with the scouts. But if I defeat them, I get some valuable resources out of them. And thus, we have also finished the first research, which is a calendar. Now that they are living in permanent settlements, villagers want to track the changes of the seasons and organize the planting of crops. With that, research quarter, commons quarter, and the granary we have unlocked. 
that's the first step now um let's have a look at my technology what i can do i can also go to the technology screen so as we can see lots of technology that we have for this age which is the classical age the only age that we have right now previous would have been this one here the ancient where we are right now and over here we have then the classical age really impressive tech tree here with lots of bonuses and these are only the first two ages now the calendar we have unlocked we could go for writing then right away which would give us the food market and the house of stripes which boosts our technology in this case i rather want to go with carpentry since it gives us the archers and archers are very good for the hunting so in that case let's go with the hunting or with the archers in that case right so let's have a look again um we still have some other things to do up here we have the scouts uh, we another interesting tile that we have uh, with plus two food. Takes a bit of time though to reach it. And we have the scouts as well. This is looking like a frozen country here now. Winter country. But there is another interesting tile that we can explore. Which gives us plus one industry. Very good. And over here, continuing to the west now. Also bear in mind, this is an alpha version of the game. So this game, of course, is not finished by far. And it's looking amazing already. We do have ocean tiles down here. So having a harbor, perhaps, would make sense, right? So after the farmer quarters, I think... No, I haven't unlocked anything with harbor yet. That is something for researching then. All right, my scouts continue. What I can also see... Oh, there we have an interesting tile then. What I can also see is that we have enough money now to um, expand our outpost then. We should do that to make it a city. Let's continue. And let's continue with the scout here, which has found another 15. And there is another interesting tile, which is the rocky field. Now, I haven't figured out yet if I place an outpost on top of it, if I get the bonus, or if I have to place it beside it. So we can try that then out here. I have it beside it, for example, um, with the copper. And also with some salt, not too far away. And now, this outpost here, we can make into a city. Which costs me 100 gold coin, but it would improve a lot of things. So, plus 2 influence, plus 5 food, plus 5 money, very important. Um, let's do it. And it takes now 3 turns, alright, before we can do that. Let's end the turn. City creation continues, and I can now continue with my scouts finding more things points of interest there we have something a bit of money there once again glad to find that in a sanctuary i think those sanctuaries are very good positions for cities because they give you some defense there on the side and we can continue over here as well beautiful graphics there absolutely love the art style another outpost 10 research points very good and we can continue to the next point of interest over there i don't think we have enemy ai in this scenario yet so we are really just growing our town in this very first scenario and then our turn is ended only one more turn for the farmers quarters only one more turn here for city creation so the next turn will be interesting also we are finishing then a uh, research let's continue with my scouts oh they cannot climb the cliffs here but we rather will continue up to this area there. I think that's it, right? Oh no, we have one more. Beautiful. To the east, we continue. The map is actually quite big. So we might build a next outpost soon. Another point of interest. And to the west, we have this one here. Carpentry! Oh, that was actually... Another science points that we got there, so we can finish a science or research right now, which gives us another clear forest ability, the lumber yard, and the archers. The art of woodworking is essential for bow making and lays the foundation of for future constructions. Alright, let's continue. We still have action points. I think there's coffee. Yeah, gives me plus two food. Yes, sir. And I can choose now a new research that we go with. So domestication gives us the horses um, and the animal barns. Mm, masonry writing is too far away though still fishing fishing would make sense since we do yeah we do have something on the on the ocean some tiles gives us the fishery for babylon let's actually go with that i'm curious if we can go then here on the coastline if we can use something there 
Um, city creation next turn. Very good. And we can end the turn now. And look at that. We are getting a city. And then we've got Nippur. A new town. More animals are coming towards my city territory now. Well, let's see. Nippur. And we get a mission here. So the first calendar. The invention of the calendar heralded a glorious day in the Empire's history. Now with two major cities and numerous farming affairs needing to be harmonized across the land. It is time to standardize this calendar. Traders must have an easy means of synchronizing their activities. By what means do you wish to track the days? Solar. The learned assure you that this calendar will be better stand the passing of the seasons and the, the lunar calendar the waxing and waning of the moon is something familiar and comforting for the people um, let's go with the let's go with the lunar in that case all right there was a, a, a smaller random event and i think there are quite a lot of them happening then now um money wise we're not that bad we are having a nice well, a nice income there i would really love to go with some more outposts and we should find them. I think here to the east we have lots of territory. First of all, yeah, let's 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 finish the scouting before I get a third city. Beautiful music. All right, Nippur th still needs yeah, some building. So Nippur, we do have the copper here, right? Or well, yeah, copper deposit. So having there we have the artisan quarters. Oh, I can't even have them up there. The artisan quarters specializes into crafting. The millstone, that is food. Let's actually go with the millstone first before we do anything else. And the tanning racks. Let's go with both of them. So we can have a queue here as well. But let's go with those basic buildings before we specialize into anything. Um, this territory doesn't belong to us as we can see. So this here is right at the edge of this territory. I wonder if that is a mistake by us or if we can expand it then. Or, as we can see, we have these white outlines here. So I think you need to place an outpost here and you take the whole territory, right? So in that case, that would have been a very bad location now for Nippur. Doesn't matter, of course, in this scenario. But it's good to know that we need to these white outlines here. These are the territories and we have to place a, an outpost into each one of these to take the whole thing. And we should probably then place it into, into the middle so that we have as much territory as possible. Now, 10... Uh, we still have Babylon, another building affair that we can go with. The archers. Let's take them. Let's take the first archers. And let's end the turn. Perfect. Now, let's have a look. Are they fighting? No, they're not fighting against each other. That would have been funny. Let's continue. There is something. Let's take it. And over... To the east, we have another point of interest. 10 science points, very good. And up here, actually, there's the next one right away. With another 5 science points. So we boosted our research there by, I think, 3 turns now. There we have more. Another animal that we could hunt. Of course, with the scouts, I'm not doing that. I could combine several of these scouts into an army, into a regiment. And then I could probably take them, but right now, let's just stay there. And thus, we have also researched the fishing. Imagine not a single fish caught with a crude spear, but a net heaving with a writhing silver-scaled catch. Right, so we could then, after we finish the archers, probably go with some fishing as well. Let's have a look at research. Domestication gives us the animal barns. Irrigation gives us farms. And flood irrigation... Probably a good idea since we have some coastal farms. Sea defense, I don't think we need that yet. And let's actually go with domestication and then we can go with the irrigation. Alright, can we... Can we? Nah, I'm not doing that. Let's retreat. Retreating costs us some action points, doesn't matter. I want my scouts back here because we want to claim more territory. We want to grow bigger. Come over here. This is going to take a bit of time here to reach that. It's fine. And up here we get some more science points. Very good. And then let's head into this area here. Actually, my other scouts can do that. With my scouts, let's go to the north again. Claim more territory. 
Very important. Let's end the turn. We have now gotten the archers. So with the archers, we can now fight. Right? Having a look at the fighting system then. Let's send the archers over there for now. We do have an animal there. Or actually two animals. I hope they are not too strong there. In, in Babylon, we can now continue. So there we have the harbor. Can we do that? Yes, very cool. We can do that. We can place a harbor now. Um, let's have a look. There we have the highest output. Let's build the harbor. Takes me five turns. And then Babylon has a harbor area. Both sides are evenly matched. Confirm the battle. Right, and as we can see now, we're starting the battle screen. So the battles are a bit different than to other games, similar. Um, in that case, we do have now battle screen. Like in Total War, the only down, uh, the only thing is that it's still now turn-based, right? And deployment. I'm going to deploy my archers in the city, so we do have some good defense, and I can start attacking. Take a bit of damage there, and then my round is at an end, and now the animals attack. And since I'm in the city, I should have the upper hand. Yeah, it took some damage there as well. This one's attacking now, probably going down. Or oh, no, it's blocking each other. Right, so I can attack now. And thus we killed it. And this one is attacking now, taking some damage in the process and also dead now. So what is our loot? Victory is ours. We do get 20 coin out of that. It doesn't really make sense to get coin out of stacks. But in that case, we just are happy with that. And it seems like that's it. So there is no experience points or anything that we would get otherwise. Right? So my archers did good. And we can end the turn. We have finished domestication. So we can now have the animal barns. Shelter for livestock grazing in nearby pasture land. Sickness outbreaks and Predator attacks plummet, raising meat and dairy yields. Since food is quite important. Now, next one would be irrigation and right. Horsemanship would give us the scout cavalry. And the masonry would give us the stoneworks. We could then go with the copper, right? You are missing a technology. And I think this is the one. Or is it somewhere else? I think it's masonry. Let's go with masonry. I want to see if that is then the resource that we can get. And salt we would have already available. Let's send the archers back here. Actually, there is another animal over there. We should fight more. Let's end the turn and send the archers... Yeah, to this one. I think the mammoths would be a bit too strong. They have a strength of 26. The stack has a strength of 8. We have a strength of 16. We can confirm the battle. We have the deployment. We could put the deployment to a higher tile here. Having a bit of defense. That is my hope. Right? And then we can end the deployment and start the fight. Oh no! We cannot actually attack them. It's not within the range. <laughs> then we have to go down here again. But I feel quite comfortable that we can do it. They have a huge range though. And yeah, they're taking now... Oh, very smart. They're coming up from above now, right? So they get the bonus here. That was a nice test towards the the strength of it. And as we can see now, they have the upper hand because they're up here. But we should still be able to kill it. Very good. But territory matters. Terrain matters, that is. And victory, we get another 10 coin out of it. Beautiful. As my scouts retreat back to my Babylon, uh, we can see that actually new point of interests appear. You know, so they are not depleted forever, but they reappear over time. Very interesting too. The same thing happened up here. We got something more. Um, and my scouts can continue. There we actually have some fog of war. Masonry. We have finished, so I guess we got some more science points. Masonry is finished now, and now we should be able... No, still missing technology for the copper, all right? So that's not something we need. Let's open the technology screen, just have a quick look at it. Masonry, bronze working. There it is, right? We do need the bronze working that is locked with the city defense. So let's take the city defense. 
my harbor is it's not looking finished nope still needs three turns and nippur is still going with the millstone i think that's the last one though right yeah because we had a queue of it um and my scouts can take this one uh those two and then we can have an outpost here as well taking the whole territory hopefully the same thing here uh we still have an action point so yeah let's found the city we have some industry the lake gives us food let's build the outpost and as we can see the whole territory belongs to us now yes so that is how we get new territory and i think we can then only have one outpost in each territory but we'll find out about that a game of prophecy with the empire thriving a new game hailing from a foreign land beguiles the population everywhere you go the distinctive game board and pieces catching your eye insisting on a public demonstration you play the game under instructions in your palace court but the event has a sting in the tail the game is reckoned to be a form of divination as well as entertainment gasps could be heard as the game's prophecy became clear you're fated to lose everything what will you do silence overlook define on babylonian for 10 this is minus 5 stability and heat we must listen to the divination minus 2 science minus 80 gold that is pretty harsh um minus five stability let's take this i think we have high stability anyway yes so we still have four so hopefully that doesn't do too much interesting event though horses down here let's continue with my scouts we still have some fog of war and the other outpost we can now then in one turn turn into a city if we want to old horde plus 10 gold coin and we can continue to the next point of interest and i especially love the or like the territory on the maps on the other territories on the map because we can it's it's well makes planning much easier we can also have the outpost i want the outpost on the coast so we can have another harbor area then plus we will take the whole thing and we still have more scouts probably for this territory right yeah it's looking fine here also on the coastline up here we have mercury a potent metal it is thought to prolong life heal fractures and help maintain good health now the interesting part is does these resources count when they're in the territory or do they need to be domesticated with a city tile no idea nippur needs something new so we have finished now the basics um we can assign a governor so as we can see up here we have the administrators the this is the number of administrators the empire has you can unlock more administrators in the technology let's get the first administrator to babylon so this gives us a bonus then oh it's actually assigned already right yeah it's administered all right we don't need to do that so nippur has no administrator for now um let's go with something new pottery workshop gives me more industry the fishery doesn't make sense here let's go with the pottery gives me more construct or more industry bonus here this actually nippur is quite a workshop town here now or quite an industry town while babylon is i think more on the growth turn actually do we have we have a population of three now very good All right, one more turn, then we can finish the harbor. To the west, we can finally now have the outpost here. A new city has been founded. To the north, we have our scouts still getting rid of the last fog of war there. So there's nothing else in the surrounding area that we still have fog of war. Let's go over there. And my scouts to the east can take now the next carcass gold we get out of it still have some points left with that scout team here actually let's continue scouting because i don't think i can um just place endless outposts everywhere there we still have one um i'm a guy who usually likes to have his cities close to the coast right so we have them up there as well that we have some re or some resources there we could have it up here on the cliff let's take that 
And as we can see, there's the next point of interest and there the next point of interest right away. And the outpost has been thus constructed as well. Let's end the turn. City defense has been researched. So with the advent of permanent settlements, thought naturally turns to security and defense. The earliest innovations are simple but effective. All right. And my scouts can continue now taking this one. A ruined shrine, huge science bonus. Um, let's go with the bronze working now that gives us the copper and I want to see how we can then take this copper tile there. I'm on it. The packing of poultry, the art of divination spreads across the empire. Priests search for messages from the gods and animal entrails, the flights of birds, the wheeling of the stars. I'm in holy deck decoction and elsewhere. Now, however, the practices have become so commonplace, so bizarre, that the whole empire is sliding towards chaotic superstition. Even the eating patterns of chickens are being interpreted by military commanders. What do we do? Forbid divinations outside the official sanctioned means. Fanatical in two cities for 10. Gives me plus, five, uh, plus 25% faith. Here we would have plus five science reason. We must use logic and experimentation to discern the true methods. Yeah, let's take this. I, I am a man of science. I love science boost. Isle army over here. Beautiful territory, beautiful terrain. How big is this map though? <laughs> that we have more coffee and another point of interest. What is that? That we have marble resource. And in Babylonia, we have finished the harbor area that gives me some more growth. And a research quorum would make sense, right? So we can boost our research even further. Um, a farmer slot that we would get. So we do we are not full yet on the population scale. So I don't I'm not going to build anything that boosts my limit because we don't need that at this point. Um, astronomy house, great astronomers and adept mathematicians, Babylonian priests work in temples. Gives me plus two food and plus two science. Alright. Here we would have plus two food and plus two science. I like that. And we have finished the bronze working now. So the bronze working is then finally this tile here we could take, hopefully. We have now, fi oh, it gives me plus five science. What? Gatekeeper to the Bronze Age, copper finds uses in weaponry, coinage, medicine, and decoration. I think um, we've taken it now, right? Exploitation, base movement. Do we need to send something over there? The copper mine, there it is. Ah, I see. When we place it up there, we get the science bonus out of it. Unlike regular quarters, strategic extractors can only be placed on the corresponding strategic resource. There we have it. So now we can exploit it then. Okay, we've also found a warrior on the way uh, with one of the exploration there. So what I want to do now is I want to combine my archers and my warriors into one army. There we have it now. Um, and this has now a strength of 33. And let's have a look how much a mammoth actually is. I think a mammoth was quite similar. We have the stacks, so they are really weak in comparison. But yeah, with this army here now, we can go to the exploration of some mammoths. They're hopefully hunting them. Um, over to the... Where are we here, actually? Big map, I gotta say that. Um, let's see. Getting perhaps... Yeah. Since the point of interest always replenish, we can just endlessly scout around, you know, and find them and then just exploit them get something out of it that is interesting um money wise we are taking 20 coins per turn right now and oh there we got another warrior very cool um let's send them back to my main army it's better to have one main army than three scattered smaller ones um continue up there so we have more people now we don't even need to recruit them that's pretty cool there we have another point, which gives us some money. Let's go. I like the scouting mechanic. I really do. There we have our main... Oh, there is mammoths. So they have a strength of 26. We're actually stronger. We could take them if we want. Oh, there is more mammoths there. And I don't think they're attacking us first, so we can attack them. Right? Or we follow them until we have that. Until yeah. we have enough soldiers there. Another point here. Gives me plus five signs. 
And we have Nippur here with the copper mine and the farm. Gives me a nice booster to my income uh, for my population growth. And let's have a look what else we can do here. Actually, they will take quite a lot of turns there. I want something smaller. The artisan quarter gives me one plus. Oh, we don't have any markets, all right, so I cannot do that. Astronomy house. Yeah, let's go with the granary there so we can grow higher. And since we have the money, we can now found a new city down here. Um, costing us quite a lot now, the next city. Cost me 250. So this is how you limit your um, city growth. You cannot just endlessly expand. But in that case, each city you build, the next one costs more. Way more. So we have 250 now. Let's build it. City creation 3. And for this one here now, it's 400, as we can see. So it costs more and more every turn if we build more cities. So we have then three cities. Um, it's getting really expensive getting new ones then. So let's use my army here for now on the stacks. Oh, what? My side is weaker? These were strong stacks, it seems. All right, let's, let's ret retreat over there with lots of animals around me now. Did not expect that. Money. More money, that's good. So we can go for the next town then even quicker. 10 research points. And there we have new territory. Yeah, let's see. More, ten re uh, more science points. I take it all. Okay, we still have some idle armies here. There we get some more coin out of it. Very good. Let's continue. And... Yeah, this outpost here has to wait. 20 strength. 16 strength. All we together. should actually be able to do it. Follow me! Yes. 8 strength. There shouldn't be a problem for us. Another point here. So don't, uh, don't forget that we're still in the ancient times right now, you know, so we haven't even advanced one age, I think the classical age then, um, and we'll see then just how it advances then, the structures of everything. Right now, basic music, basic buildings, I know that from some game, Civilization VI, and I think this is quite similar, but not in a bad way. So far, I especially love the scouting mechanic a lot. We have Babylon here as another idle city, so we can do something here. Stoneworks gives me even more production, but we have a lot of production right now. 12 money, 21 science points. We can still grow with 6 pops, so boosting my science probably. Oh, my money. We can have a, a market quarter, right? So with each adjacent tile that is built, actually we can get more coins. So here we have the harbor and the farm close by, so let's build the market. And thus we can end the turn then most likely, yes. Alright, that's it already with the first scenario. There was no real goal, just some building. Hi, it's me again, back to say just a few words. First and most obviously, thank you for playing. We really hope you enjoyed it.